So while we have been talking about different ways of disabling the software navigation bar on devices like the OnePlus 5T and the Pixel 2 and Pixel 2 XL. And oddly enough, OnePlus has just recently rolled out an open beta update to the OnePlus 5T that disables the software navigation buttons in that bar completely, not just hides it. And they have added in uh, basically a replica of what Apple has implemented into the iPhone X, those specific gestures. Now this is only available right now on the open beta will almost assuredly be passed down to the stable channel updates for Oxygen OS on the OnePlus 5T in the near future. But for now it is only available via the open beta. I have done a previous tutorial on how to sideload from the stable branch to the open beta. So if that interests you then be sure to check the full tutorial as I'll have a link back to that previous guide. So, to enable this new feature, we just need to go in to the Settings application. We're going to scroll down a bit and tap on the Buttons option. And then up here to the top, we're going to see an option here called Hide Navigation Bar. Once that toggle has been turned on, you're going to see the bottom software navigation bar completely disappear. It's not going to appear when we swipe up. And actually, the first time you enable this toggle, it's going to give you a little demo at the bottom. It's going to show you the three different gestures that they are using to replicate the back, home, and recent buttons. I'm going to give you an example of that. A regular swipe up completely will, again, just like how Apple does it, will take you back home no matter where you're at. A full swipe up gesture takes you back home. Now, alternatively, we were going into an application back. The back gesture is a swipe on either the left on the right or the right side. This is actually pretty convenient as it works no matter which dominant hand you have. And it works just like the back button has always worked. And the last thing we have is the multitask button, which again works just like how Apple implemented it in the iPhone X. It is a shorter swipe up, and then we're going to hold. So again, we go here, we're going to do a short swipe up and hold. And then that'll bring up the multitask menu. And this difference between a full swipe and a partial swipe and a hold will take some time to get used to, just like any other gesture based navigation method. But personally, I feel it's pretty nice. You know, it's, it may not be as quick as Pi controls, and it may not be as quick as the swipe navigation application that I have shown previously on the OnePlus 5T, but it's certainly not bad at all. So if you are wanting to get rid of that bottom software navigation bar to have your applications completely take up, completely take up the entire screen of your OnePlus 5T, and you don't want to have to deal with having an application installed to where you disable the navigation bar with a quick settings toggle and then having another application installed to set up your gestures. 
It has now been built into Oxygen OS and the latest, I believe, is Open Beta 3 for Oxygen OS. Yes, Open Beta 3 of Oxygen OS on the OnePlus 5T.